everybody, and welcome to Elkat Sports. It's a beautiful night for, or a beautiful day for soccer. Tonight's matchup is the East Law Metal Spartans versus the Law Metal Lancers. My, the person behind the camera is Maria Boucher, and the color doing the color is Jamie Brook, and your play-by-play announcer Neil Gagnon, and. What a good day is it for soccer, isn't it, Jamie? Yeah, I mean, I got to say, this morning when it was raining, I was a little worried about this game getting canceled, even though it was already a reschedule. The game is supposed to be tomorrow at 4, I believe, and it got rescheduled to today. So the crowd here is a little, little fair, but it'll probably get better. <laughs> and let's start. It's already a long metal throw. There's a throw, heads it away. There's head Chris there. Casella. Here's Lambert, trying to get a through pass. Stays with it. Ooh. Ooh, big collision, and it's a free kick for Esau Meadow. You know, the rivalry between these two teams is definitely calling for a rough game. Law Metal not backing down. Here's the free kick. Cross headed mm -hmm. away. Law Metal off the East Law Metal player for a goal kick. It's a nice job there by Nate Madero following it because the ball never went out of bounds. Matt Mooney is the key player for East Long Meadow. Just need to find him, and he's really dangerous with the ball. Yeah, he's really fast. He's got already f five goals and one assist for the season. And it's a throw in for Esau Metal. Couldn't keep it in. Gustavo Palacios with a throw. They clear it. Reed Phillips gets it a little bit out, but it's still an Esau Metal throw. Trying to get to Chris Kokotis. Couldn't do it. Nick Lambert and East Long Meadow defense not giving up. They do not want a repeat of their last game against Ludlow. Ludlow scored three games against them in the first 15 minutes. Here's Matt Mooney. Trying to get through. He keeps getting in front of the ball. The shot right at the Long Meadow keeper. Good first chance for East Long Meadow. Ooh, short punt. Nice play there. But Law Metal takes it back. Too far. Gustavo Palacios right there. Hello. Trying to get a through ball. Good pressure by Nick DePonte. Spartans doing a great job of covering for each other as they switch around trying to get the ball. Nate Madeira sends Matt Mooney. Here he goes. Matt Mooney cuts back. He go. He falls in the. Matt Mooney was all spot. alone in that one. Seems like he could have used a player to pass too. It's header there by Reed Phillips. Hello, Chris Kakota is trying to get it. There's Nick Lambert. And had trouble with the ball in the back for Esau Meadow. Will St. Marie trying to clear the ball out. And it's a long metal throw. Had a nice, nice header there. State. Is 
Gustavo Palacios having a little trouble with that header. Cross into the box. Ooh, wide open there. Try to get it in the box again. Ran out of space since the goal kick for Eastall Meadow. Nice job by Nick DePonte forcing that goal kick. Reed Phillips with a short goal kick there. Shot right at Brendan Zura. Brendan Zura in for Tyler Martinelli, who suffered a second concussion of the season and last week's Ludlow game. So he'll be out until October. That's a big loss for Isla Meadow. Yeah, he got kicked in the face and broke his nose, went to the hospital and found out he got a second concussion. It's a rough season for him. Gustavo Palacios trying to get it out. Somehow does, but still a long metal throwing. Oh, trying to get through some of those defense. Nice play by Alex Atwater. Your ball, Matt Mooney. Oh, what a play. But second defender for Lamello gets to it for an East Lamello throw in. Smart play by Matt Mooney there. Going around the defender to get the opening. Unfortunately, he just wasn't able to finish. Nick DePonte with the throw. Matt Mooney stays with it. Chris. Casella, nice try. It's a goal kick for Long Meadow. I gotta say, so far the ball seems to be on both ends of the field. There's really no dominating team so far. Long Meadow. Trying to get a breakthrough here against East Lomelo's defense, but they've been really tough this season. Gustavo Palacios with the throw. Long Meadow gets the ball. It's headed through the box, but nice play by Brendan Zura. A little help there from Reed Phillips blocking the Long Meadow offense. Atwater trying to get it through. And it's a free kick for East Long Meadow. Nate Madeira with the kick. Good ball. It's headed away. Throw in free Song Meadow. The Song Meadow pushing their way up the field. Nick DePonte will throw it in. Casella trying to flick it. Couldn't get it. Will St. Marie ran out of space and a through, through ball. So almost a half breakaway for Long Meadow. Reed Phillips there in the middle to block it, but. Oh, Ooh, nice save, Brennan Zura. Nice play by Gustavo Palacios to give him no space, no really goal to shoot at. Nice through ball there. Will St. Marie right there. Can clear it. There's a, there's a pass there, staying with the Zeesaw Meadows defense. The shoot, great play, Nick Lambert. Zeesaw Meadows defense really doing a good job of hustling to the ball, making sure they're the first ones there before Long Meadow. And it's a free kick for Long Meadow. 
This game's gonna have a lot of fouls. They're both big rivals. Quick free kick. They lost their marker, Ooh. went off the post, and then it, oh, great block. Nick DePonte coming in and blocking that shot. Did it rebound off the pole? Yeah, it rebound off the post. But the rebound got his body right in front of that. But it's a corner for Long Meadow. Chris Thomas waiting to get in for East Long Meadow. Here's the cross, low cross. Reed Phillips, great play. Seemed like a little bit of miscommunication there from the goalkeeper and Reed Phillips. Throwing for Long Meadow. Long Meadow's starting to keep possession over East Long Meadow, but East Long Meadow's not backing down. Oh, great play, Nate Madeira. Good skills. Nice ball work. Just goes off his foot. It's an all metal throw. Long throw in. Flicked on. Replay. Gustavo. There's Chris Casella trying to get the ball to Matt Mooney. Long Meadows defense right on it. Long Meadow defense just outnumbering East Long Meadow offense right now. Miscommunication for East Long Meadow so far this half. Trying to head it out. Long Meadow just going right back in. Stays with it. It's in the box. Nice Little St. Marie. He's with it. Wow. Long Meadow just pushing at East Long Meadow right now. Cross again. Deflected. Ooh, good block. <sighs> Matt Mooney's the only one up there. He needs the help. And again, but that one was offsides. Nice job there by the defense pushing them up. Nick DePonte taking it. Long ball there. Back. To th oh, handball on Nate Madeira. Free kick for Long Meadow. Spartans just need a chance to get the ball past the defender so Matt Mooney can do what he does best. Nicholas Del Vicio with Chris Thomas in sidelines waiting to come in. Nice move there. And it's a free kick for Long Meadow. Defense trying to keep everybody out of the box here. Free kick. Brandon nice Zura save. right there. He lost the rebound. Nick DePonte right there. But Long Meadow just putting it back in after when they clear it. Long Meadow just pushing East Long Meadow. Reed Phillips. Fortunately, no one there. Long Meadow giving East Long Meadow frustration right now. Meadow can't clear it. Cross, and it rolls to Brendan Zura. East Long Meadow got to push out. Need a big pun here to get the ball out of this end. Flicked on head by Madeira. Kokotis looking for a through ball to Nick Lambert. There he goes. Shot, save, header. Wide. Nice job sticking with the follow. Subs come in for East Lamento. Chris Thomas, Nicholas Delvisio coming in.
Chris Kokotis is coming out. And Chris Casella. Nick Lambert almost had a chance, just couldn't head it towards the goal. Flick it on here. DePonte right there. Atwater. Just couldn't get it. Keep it in the field by Gustavo Palacios. Madeira, Matt Mooney trying to get it to Nick Lambert. Nick, and he just went right by him. But he just took too long. Seems like he missed his opportunity there. Wide open shot. Defender came up, beat him to it. Nick Lambert thought he had more space to shoot at than he had, but he didn't see the Lamento player go right behind him. What a big missed chance for Esau Meadow. Corner kick, head. Nick Lambert deflected. And Matt Mooney just couldn't keep it down. Too much power on that ball. Spartan started off the season with two home wins, 3-0 against Cathedral and 5-0 against Holyoke, and then just recently played their first away game in Ludlow and then lost that one 4-1. So they're looking to continue their home winning streak here. Both teams, Longmeadow and East Longmeadow, played Cathedral earlier this season, and they both won 3-0. So it seems like it's an even match here. Good flick on, Nate Madeira puts it back in, Lambert. Great play, Chris Thomas. Headed away. Lometto. Atwater with a little pressure. And a little too far. It's a goal kick for East Lometto. Headed for a throw-in for East Lamento as Matt Pellegrino will come into the game. For Nick DePonte. Little short throw there. Alex Atwater. Great play, but loses it back. Matt Mooney, oh, saw his idea, trying to, just too much for Nick Lambert. Reed Phillips. Lamedo, just trying to get through, nice play, Chris Thomas. Reed Phillips with the clearance. Nice pass. Madeira. Good communication there. Ooh, Lomel just took it back. Through ball, Gustavo Palacios right there, to Brendan Zura coming up and getting it. Zura, oh, and through, shot. Huff, shot for Zura to handle, he still managed. Good hand there from Brendan Zura and getting it out of bounds. Seemed like he wasn't comfortable with the save, but still didn't go in the goal, so that still works. Because the long metal corner has. It's a cross in. The 
Deflected wide for a goal kick. As this game is brought to you in part by the Pizza Shop, home of the legendary dough on Shaker Road in East Long Meadow. And also by Let's Yo, a yogurt experience on North Main Street in East Long Meadow. It's Will St. Marie take the goal kick. Spartans have to make sure that they're first to the ball. East Long Meadow seems to be beating them to a majority of them. Lomeno takes it back again. Yeah, the ball through. Too far. Zero is right there. Throw Matt Pellegrino. Too far for Alex Atwater. Quick throw for Lomeno. Oh, good through ball. And looking. Shot. Didn't get anything on that. Zura's right there. That ball just had no momentum to it at all. Chris Thomas, good flick on header. Matt Mooney stays with it. Matt Mooney gets oh. pulled down, and it's a free kick for East Long Middle. It's a nice opportunity here for the Spartans to get their the only first goal of the game. So Meadow. I think of curling it in. There's oh, a it's delay. Like an injury. And they have to sub that player out. Kick. Matt Mooney, ooh. Oh, just shy of hitting the corner. Nice idea. Just couldn't curve it around enough. It's a goal kick for Long Meadow. Header, Nick Lambert with a little pressure, but cleared away. Throwing Matt Pellegrino, Madeira flicks on, Atwater, good header. Mooney trying Matt to Mooney shield. that battle. And good ball, Lambert's in. The shot, save. Oh. There's a great through ball there to Nick Lambert. That's two chances for Nick Lambert. He almost put it in the net, just couldn't get it in the right spot. And Mooney again. It's still an Esau medal throwing. That Pellegrino with the throw. Madeira flicks it on Atwater. Nice block. And it's another throw in for East Long Meadow. East Long Meadow keeping it in Long Meadow's end this time. I think what they need here is cross over to the other side, switch the play up a bit. Chris Kokos and Chris Cassell are back in as Alex Atwater and Nicholas Del Vicio are coming out. Gustavo Palacios looking for a ball. Oh, blocked away by Long Meadow defense. Great play, Will St. Marie. 
Gustavo Palacios, good pass to Madeira. Pellegrino. Nice idea, but Lawmeno takes it. Reed Phillips, stay with it. Play still going on, Will St. Marie. Nice move by Will St. Marie. But they just turn it back over. Chris Kokodes gets mowed down. There's no call, and it's an early shot right at Zura. Seems like every time the Spartans try to get the ball to each other, there's a long metal player in the way. There's an Eastland metal throw, and Nick DePonte coming back in, and Matt Pellegrino is going to come out. Great header, Reed Phillips. Here's Matt Mooney. Lambert staying, trying to stay with it. And DePonte gets it. DePonte off of Matt Mooney. Nice job. Oh, man. and he stays with it. Shot blocked. A little shout for handball. Four on one there. And Long Meadow stays with it. I think these are one of these games that only one goal pretty much is important. Yeah, it's looking definitely to be, if not a tie, a 1-0 game. DePonte with a long throw in. That was a great nice. throw. Box shot. Oh. Just blocked. Salvo Palacio stays with it. Good ball. Oh, Chris Kokotis. Cross, there's no one there. And it's a throw in for Islam Meadow. It was a perfect opportunity for someone to come in and tap it in. Yeah. Substitution for Long Meadow. As 14 minutes left here. Long Meadow versus East Long Meadow. Score still 0 0. As their goalkeeper is hurt, so they have to put the backup in. Where do you think that injury was from? I didn't see it. it seemed like it was a clear cap catch from him. Stay in touch with all of your sports scores for East Elemental High School by following us on Twitter at LCAT Sports. As the subs substitutions for La Meadow. So their number one goalkeeper is out. So the backup's going to come into the game. So right now this is a game of backup keeper versus backup keeper. Although Brendan's Brennan's are all doing a great job filling in for Tyler Martinelli there. He's not acting like a backup keeper. Ball in. Casella stays with it. Looking for the shot. All right. Yeah. Good effort keeper. there by Chris Casella. Ball there. Reed Phillips, the header. Skills from La Meadow, but back and forth right now. St. Marie. Tough time. A little pressure as a corner for La Meadow. Yeah, I'm sure he meant to curve that ball. Longmeadow goalkeeper seems to have suffered a knee injury as the trainer's checking him out right now. Ball in. 
And get it back in. Trying to have a nice play there. Leno. Nice play. Back into the box. There's no one there. Nick DePonte. Gonna try to shield it, and he does. For a goal kick for Eastland Meadow. Flick on hair from Madeira, but Law Meadow puts it back in again. Little St. Marie. Good move. Chris Thomas. Good possession here. Gustavo Palacios. A little trouble there. And yeah, he lost it. Great Long footwork Man. there by Long Meadow. Matt Mooney. Looking for something. Through ball. Great play. Casilla trying to make a play. The shot. Ah, he couldn't turn it on goal. All of his shots are just a little to the left too much. That would have been a perfect time to go with the strong right foot. As Alex Atwater is coming into the game as Nick Lambert comes out. Matt Mooney heads it back. Atwater, they already have a defender right there. Spartans are definitely keeping up the momentum. Reed Phillips staying with it. Good ball, great play. Nick DePonte. Palmetto keeping it in. Good ball, too much. Throwing free Saw Meadow. There's almost 10 minutes to go in the first half, and it's still 0 0 between the Spartans and Law Meadow. Nick DePonte with the throw-in. Hey, Madeira, good flick on there. Chris Thomas trying to switch the field, just couldn't. Chris Kokotis trying to flick it. The Law Medal is right there. And going for the through ball there. Reed Phillips. Great hustle. Wow. But it's a corner. Reed Phillips was not like the call. He thought he didn't touch it, but the referee thought he did. So it's a corner. Thought he touched it out of bounds, but the referee thought it was still in bounds. Corner kick. The ball in. Ooh, over everybody. And it's a free kick for La Meadow. Chris Kakotis with the push. Get the ball. Ball in. Deflected. Offsides? It was offsides. Some little free kick. That Mooney trying to flick it. Couldn't do it. Gustavo Palacios right there. Trying to get the ball through, but Lameto. Just keeps beating him to it. Yep. It's Wesley Olin will come into the game. I think for the first time today as Chris Kokotis will come out. Ooh. A little high foot there. So it keeps it going here. Free kick for Long Meadow. Illegal play there. The 
Ball in. Oh, went over the first defender. Cross. There's no one there. Goal kick for Eastland Meadow. So Nick Lambert will quickly come back in. And it's for I think Chris Thomas. Nick DePonte, header. Sit up. Stayed in. Throwing for East Long Meadow. It was a great opportunity for East Long Meadow to move the play down to Long Meadow's end. Great throw there. Oh, Nick Lambert trying to get through. Oh, and miscommunication from Long Meadow. As Wesley Olin was breathing on their neck there. And he lets it go out for a corner. Important ball in for East Long Meadow. The cross. Too close to the keeper. It's a quick throw. East Long Meadow's got to hurry back. And not a good pass there, but the end it's still it's an East Long Meadow throw. Throw in. Cleared away. Lamento still. Both teams still trying to find a hole, find a gap through both of their team's defenses. Will oh. St. Marie turning the ball around. Play, but it's out of bounds for a Lamento throw. Quick one. Nice header there. Gustavo Palacios clearing. Casella, great ball. Oh. oh. And Matt Mooney with tons of space. He's got a shot. Oh. Didn't get a lot of power on that one. Right at the Long Meadow keeper. Both of those wings there seem to be heavily covered by Long Meadow defenders. There, Palacios trying to get it. And now Lamento trying to get a through ball. Nice play there. Will St. Marie. Will St. Marie has been doing a great job keeping the ball out of the right corner. It's going to be a really close game, a really fighting game until the end. Palacios clears it a little bit, but... No, no East Long Meadow players around to get that one. Get the ball through. And it's a free kick for Long Meadow. Didn't see where the foul was, but it's still at the end of the long metal free kick. There's the ball in for long metal. It's a good ball. Header in the air. And a collision, and it's a free kick for East Long Meadow. Good job there by Brendan Zerat reaching for the ball, making sure that he was the first one to get it. Ball there, trying to flick it. Oh, let's head it back. At water. Oh. 
the Ponte couldn't get there. Not quick enough. Get the ball through Saint Will Saint Marie staying with it. Nice job by Matt Mooney. Through there's no one there. And it's going to be a goal kick to East Lawn Meadow. As subs come in. Chris Kakotis and Chris Thomas come in. For Chris Casella. And Wesley Olin. Oh, there, Chris Kokotis, Nick Lambert could not control that one. Oh, good ball there, Long Meadow. Oh, that's not a. That looked like it was offsides. Too soft for Matt Water. And it's a throw in for East Long Meadow. That is just about one minute left to go. East Long Meadow still tied up at zero with Long Meadow. Throw in there. Nate Madeira could not get it through. A lot of pushing going on there. I know. Great play there. Matt Mooney outnumbered. Still manages to get the ball. He gets nice it again. Nice job. Go for the ball. Mooney. Cross. Took a little too much time there. Meadow trying to go right at East Lawn Meadow, but we'll see. Marie has it. Gustavo Palacios. Tough ball. That was easy for Brendan Zura. As this half is over. A scoreless half, but definitely a Loads of shots from both teams. Effort on offense and defense. Yeah, we got we got end to end action between La Meadow and East La Meadow as two good chances for Nick Lambert, but it's still East La Meadow zero, La Meadow zero, and we'll be back for the second half. And we're back for the second half as it's still zero zero East La Meadow Spartans and La Meadow Lancers. I have a feeling it's going to remain 0-0, and then last minute someone's going to score, and it's going to be devastating for the other team. So at this point, it could really go either way. Both goalies doing a good job. Both defenders doing a good job. Offense just can't seem to complete anything. Hey, Madeira, a quick ball to the corner where Lambert's running to. But it's a throw-in. For Long Meadow. Right and here's Madeira. Oh, what a move. Cross. Nice ball. Good cross. Alex Atwood are trying to get possession of it. It's a corner kick for East Long Meadow. Chris Kokotis will take it. The passing seems to be there for these Long Meadow Spartans. It's just whoever they're passing to can't get there because of all the Long Meadow defense. There's the ball from Kokotis. 
Good ball, it's deflected, shot and scored! Matt Mooney there with the kick. Who else? Wow. That was great teamwork there from the Spartans. And that's his sixth goal of the season. Well, I take back what I said about this prediction. <laughs> Matt Moody changing the pace of the game there. Matt Moody. Definitely going to have some momentum here, motivation to continue this lead. Matt Moody with the most goals for Eastfield Meadow this season so far. Deflected. Kokotis. And ball, but the, no call. And it's a throw in for Esau Meadow. Clear away. Reed Phillips right there. Passing. Nick DePonte. Atwater. He connects. And Law Meadow takes it. And here's Matt Mooney. He's trying to go for his second goal. Turns, still going. Oh, great pass. Oh, oh. Right at the keeper from Kokotis. Perfect opportunity there created by Matt Mooney for Chris Kokotis. Okay, Kokotis then gets it. Long Meadow steals it. Long ball, St. Marie. A smart play for a long metal throw. Long throw. Great header. Nate Madeira. Nick Lambert. Nice oh. passing here. Trying to get the ball up the field. Again. It's too much. The keeper has to come out and get it, though, to clear it. Lambert gets pushed off the ball or no call. Looking for one. Reed Phillips, a smart play, but they turn it back over. Stays with it. Great play. Esau Meadow, team good defense to clear. La Meadow just pushing now after that goal, but too far and Esau Meadow throwing. Another throw in for Esau Meadow. Such a different game than the last two home games we've had where Esau Meadow goalies have barely even had to touch the ball. La Meadow. They get more people up there. Need Madeira right there. Glamber took too long. Take it back. Ball through, off the head of Reed Phillips, still in. Staying with it. Physical battle between those two. He's gonna win the second ball, great play, Chris Casella. Ball, too much for Atwater. Oh, Madeira, Casella. Too far for Kokotis. There's a good ball from Long Meadow. Looking to go into the box, but let's play. Well, St. Marie was there to block it all. Casella, ooh. Play there. Long Meadow, another through ball. Thought they were offside, so that's why they stopped running. They stay with it. 
through. Nick DePonte right there. Bring it up to Matt Mooney all alone. This whole game seems like a big volley back and forth. <laughs> well, Meadow takes it back. Oh, great hustle. And they missed it. Well, Meadow had a chance, and they couldn't get a touch. Did the goalkeeper get a hand on that one? I don't know. But going on still, it's a goal kick. Greasaw Meadow. As Chris Thomas and Matt Pellegrino come into the game for Chris Kokotis. Spartan defense trying their hardest to keep this game at a shutout. Trying to get back to the pace they had set earlier this season. Nick DePonte comes out with them too. Looked like a handball there. Oh, good ball. At water. Oh, just a little too light there. Great play, Reed Phillips. It's a free kick for a Law Meadow. Reed Phillips really strong with the ball. Quick ball in. Didn't get anything on it. Right at Brandon Zura. It's good man coverage there by Nick Lambert. Good kick there. Back. Nice play by Madeira. Matt Mooney open. Good for a ball. Good ball to Lambert. Shot. Oh. Nice try by Nick Lambert. Right at the keeper. Matt Mooney and Nick Lambert are creating endless opportunities for each other. Throwing for East Law Meadow. Chris Thomas trying, <laughs> but. Pushing his way through the long metal defense. So there they go. Gustavo stays with it. Wow. A lot of stumbling, leaning in that play. Going there. No. There, turn it over, Chris Casella. Oh, Matt Mooney, ton of people, and it went in. Along with, <laughs> they managed to push it in. <laughs> oh my! Looks like he was, he got stuck there. What a play, Chris Casella crashing the goal. He didn't even know where the ball was and it managed to go off his feet and into the net. I think he reached the goal before the ball did. <laughs> yes. That goal was so confusing, nobody even cheered. <laughs> We're sure <laughs> if we should be worried about him or not. Chris Casella's his facial expressions like, he'll take it. <laughs> I'm sure that's a first for him. So East Long Middle now up 2-0. 31 minutes still left in this game. According to this, Chris Cusells, that's his second goal of the season. Nick Lambert, what a ball. Here's Matt Mooney. Trying. Oh, good move. Doing it again. Oh, couldn't Chris Thomas. Nice idea, but Probably already a long middle. Incredible footwork there. Just dancing around long middle defense. Reed Phillips, great defense. Oh, what a ball. One on one with the keeper. Nice. Nice, nice wow. save there. Brendan Zero has been big for the backup of Esau Meadow because the injury to Tyler Martinelli. 
Yeah, he seems to fit in very well with the defense here. Cross in the box. Over the back. Free kick for East Meadow. Ball there. Oh, tough header to get from Nicholas Del Vicio. Atwater. Good ball. Matt, Matt Mooney. Coming in. Oh, he couldn't finish. That would have put Long Meadow away. But they just couldn't finish. Matt Mooney had tremendous speed on that play. Nick Lambert, Stavo, Palacios. The referee was in the way. Oh, great move by Gustavo. Matt Mooney, miscommunication, cross again. Cleared, and Lon Meadow clears it. Nate Madeira stays with it. Matt Pellegrino tried. Oh, nice ball. Nicholas Del Vicio. Got another through ball at water. Be corner kick? I think it is. It's a corner kick. By the way, this game is brought to you in part by the Pizza Shop, home of the legendary dough in, on Shaker Road in East Law Meadow, and also by Let's Yo, a yogurt experience on North Main Street in East Law Meadow. Saw Meadow just trying to keep this lead. It's Chris Kokotis is waiting to come back in. Good ball. Lost, but headed away from Long Meadow. It cleared away, but it's an East Long Meadow throw. Chris Kokoda's coming in. And it's for Atwater. Long Meadow trying to clear it. So Meadow stays with it. Oh, Chris Kokotis and Nate Madeira lost communication, but Madeira gets it. He almost went through the whole defense there, but couldn't get the last de defender. Long Meadow. Ball, Reed Phillips, right there. And it's a throw in for Long Meadow. As the same keeper that was injured is coming back into the game for the backup. So we can still continue. These long men don't need to focus on their defense here. Yeah. Big throw in for Long Meadow. Cross, oh good cross, it's dangerous. Brandon Zura's right there. He's been big for East Long Meadow. That was a very risky play there by Matt Pellegrino. <laughs> Long Meadow, I'm trying to go for a through ball. Glitz Del Vicio right there. But back forward, Gustavo's right there. 
Clear it away. Tough to control, Chris Thomas. There's a little tugging there from Longmeadow. Chris Thomas, give credit to staying with that. Lee Madero trying to hit, but Reed Phillips all the way from defense comes up. Luis Del Vicio, Matt Mooney. There he is. Shot. Wide. Oh. Nice try for Matt Mooney. As Nick DePonte will come back in for Matt Pellegrino. And Nick Lambert is going to come out as well. It's for Chris Casella. seeing a lot of action in the middle of the field today as both teams are pushing up their defense. Hold there and it's a free kick for Long Meadow. Nice play job it. there. We're back and that sends forward. For Lamello shot, deflected, it's still loose. Save, Zura! Are you kidding me? What a save! It was a one on one shot. Wow. This guy cannot be a backup after all this. There's a ball in. Chris Thomas just couldn't get there. Another through ball. Lamelo's just pushing the goal now. It rolls to Zura. Ball there, headed away. Good ball again. Lamelo pushing again. Nice job by oh. Reed Phillips stopping the ball. Stayed with it. Deflected. Brendan Zura again. <laughs> Nicholas Del Vicio, Chris Thomas. Struggling to get control of the ball there, but passes it off. Nice play. Nice move from Gustavo. Just too much for Matt Mooney. And the play goes on. Kokotis deflected. Matt Mooney trying to get it. Couldn't. Nate Madeira. Chris Thomas gets cleaned out. No call. Screaming for a handball. There's no call there. Things are starting to get chippy. Nick DePonte looking to cross the ball. DePonte, what a ball. What a finish. Matt Mooney again. It was a perfect angle head ball. His seventh goal of the season leads East Law Meadow. How do you manage to get that on goal? What but what a cross. Give credit to Nick DePonte with that cross. As the Atwater comes in for Nicholas Del Vicio. Matt Mooney has a lot of hustle down near the goal, but I got to say his teammates are what makes all of his goals. Well, Meadow just being blanked. We thought this was going to be a close game, but Esau Meadow just taking it to him at home as this ball rolls to Brennan Zura. Nick Lambert 
and Nicholas Demerst waiting to check in. Lometto, oh, good ball. This is dangerous again. Oh, nice great. block. Gustavo right there. Stays with it though, what a move! Oh, and he couldn't even there. put it on goal. Longmeadow needed that. Was Chris Thomas and Nick DePonte both come out of the game. With 20 minutes left, score 3-0. East Longmeadow on top of Longmeadow. There's a goal kick. Saw metal here. Clearance there. Chris Kokotis. Can't get through. Oh, it's deflected. And Law Metal stays with it. Here they go again. Reed Phillips coming in clutch wow. there. It was blocked and almost almost went in still went in the net. Great teamwork by the defense. Lomelo well, can't find anything past Brendan Zero right now. Oh, what a flick. Onsides. Look in the shot. Blocked. Reed Phillips just acting like a human wall back there. They're still staying with it. Play Nick Demarest down the line. Oh, he's chipped up. And w are they calling it off sizes on Matt Mooney? Matt Mooney does not like the call. I thought that was a chip. Actually, it's a throw-in. There's no foul at all. This is a headball match right now. <laughs> it's never ending. <laughs> now Warner gets cleaned out there. No call. Looking for a good ball. That was still a good oh. ball. He got tripped and it's a free kick. So is this going to be Indirect or direct? I think it's I think it's gonna be direct. Nope. Might be indirect, but Lamelo just needs to. Here comes the ultimate test for defense. Brendan Zura, if it gets pet. Brendan Zura has been a great goalkeeper, so Lamelo really has to put it right in the corners. Shot. Over Ooh, the bar. Too much. And stay in touch with all of your sports scores for East Elemental High School by following us on Twitter on Elcat Sports. East Elemental just trying to keep keep this shutout alive. Brendan Zero has been a big part of, of that and also the East Elemental defense. Gonna be a throw in for East Longmeadow. At water, you can control that. Lambert header, he just couldn't get his head onto it. He got through pass again, and here they go. It was a great header by Longmeadow. Reed Phillips comes to the rescue there for East Longmeadow. It's a throw in for Longmeadow. Longmeadow just doesn't want to get it shut out. Yeah, they're doing anything they can to get past this defense. Good clear there. Matt Mooney. Matt Mooney. 
hustling there, but wasn't able to get it. Oh, great play. Here's Kokotis trying to go for the through ball. Here's Matt Mooney again. He's going for the hat trick. And he couldn't tip it past the keeper. Good save there by Long Meadow Keeper. Here's Long Meadow. He has another through ball. Nicholas Demers right there. Gives it back to the keeper. That's a tester. Brennan Zura. Man, just to get it out. Nice play. That was a tester for Nicholas Demers. Long Meadow. Trying to get something into the box. Great defense, but it's a corner kick for Long Meadow. You know, we talked about East Long Meadow defense doing anything in their power to stop the ball from going in the goal. We recently had Reed, Phyllis, Reed, Reed Phillips in the studio as the ball is blocked here. And he expressed the team's... Zero's right there. Uh, he was explaining that the coach really loves getting shutouts. They call them goose eggs. And um, he said him and his defense will do anything they can to make sure they get a goose egg for their coach. Well, Melo just keep pushing. Oh, what a ball. Onside shot. Wide. I think Brennan Zura had that covered anyway. That was a close one. Will St. Marie and... Chris Thomas will be in for Chris Casella. And Nicholas Demarest. A lot of subbing here from both teams. Just shows all the hustle that everybody's putting out. Header there. There you go. Long Meadow trying to get it through the defense. Free kick. For Long Meadow, just about 13 minutes to go. Quick free kick. I want to move. Oh. Nice try to stay with it there. Just couldn't get it out. East Lamento being cautious here. Great play. Chris Kokotis. Nick Lambert. Good hustle. Lamento. Need a flick on. Nick DePonte gets hit. Free kick for East Lamento. East Lamello really frustrating. Lamello with the second ball chances here. One thing East Lamello defense should be focused on is not allowing any of those penalty kicks. Well, not penalty kick, but um, foul. Shot. Not much power on that from Matt Mooney. Trying to threaten for another hat trick. Goal kick for Long Meadow. As Mike Fenny is waiting on the sidelines, his first contribution of the day. Atwater. Could have been a handball. No. Nick DePonte from defense almost trying to take a little shot there. That's a corner kick for East Long Meadow. And, uh, 
You saw Meadow. Just pretending it's zero zero all the time. Just gotta still attack them. If you're winning by three goals, Chris Chris Kakotis will take the corner. Good ball. He just couldn't head it towards the goal. Nate Madeira just couldn't direct that. It would have been his first goal of the season. Oh, high kick there. And see for the Law Metal keeper. Matt Mooney. There's Nate Madeira. And I curve that. I had a chance for a moment, but Matt Mooney with a nice try there. This is Mike Fenny coming for the first time today for Chris Kokotis. I'd say it's about that time. There's just under 10 minutes left. You're up 3 0. Got to give the players a little rest, focus on the defense rather than the offense right now. Nicholas Del Vicios also waiting to come in. Nice stop by Reed Phillips. Ball there. It was loose. Lawmeadow gets it. Early ball. Headed away. Nate Madeira. Good ball. Chips over it a little bit. Nice play by Atwater. Get Nick DePonte all the way up. DePonte. Just couldn't get that through ball right at any Lawmeadow foot. Gustavo, right there. Nice play, Mike Fenny. Long Meadow still beating East Long Meadow to almost every ball, showing that they're not giving up here. And trying to get through the defense, can't. Ball to the side, Gustavo. Good defender, not trying to let him through. Early cross, Nate Madeira right there. Sending, oh, too short. A whiff there from the long metal players. Matt Mooney gets tripped down again, and there's no, no call. call. Wow. Matt Mooney's really frustrated. Not getting any of the calls. Long metal goes back up. Oh, Reed Phillips, good strength. Is that a penalty? I think. No, I think it's a foul on La Meadow. This man Pellegrino will come in with Nicholas Delvisio. And Nick DePonte will come out. And Alex Atwater. Free kick. Trying. Saw Meadow. Trying to hold it for around seven minutes to play. Oh, great oh, ball. But get ahead on that one. it's offsides. I don't think anybody was expecting it to go that far. <laughs> on that with the long ball. Mike Fenny right there, and he got hammered. <laughs> Great play. Ball through Nick Lambert. There he goes. Tremendous speed. Oh, he got cleaned out. He didn't get any foot on that either way. <laughs> so he starts doing a push up. <laughs> <laughs> Gustavo, nice pressure. Gustavo's been a great defender so far this game. It's Mike Fenny and 
Chris Thomas fight did not communicate here. Gustavo, nice strength. And is it? It's a goal kick. Wesley Olin will come into the game for Nick Lambert. Here's the goal kick. Good head there. Long Meadow keeping possession here. Get a long ball here. Long Meadow. Oh, great, great defense. Stays with it. Reed Phillips. Throwing for East Long Meadow. Will St. Marie and Reed Phillips doing everything they can today. Really putting in work to make sure that no ball goes past them to the goalkeeper. As Chris Casella and Chris Kokotis coming into to the game for Chris Thomas and Matt Mooney. I think that's going to be it for Matt Mooney. As Oh, nice play, Gustavo. Oh, Law Meadow steals it into the box. Nice turn. Looking. Cross. Great play, Nick DePonte. Nicholas Delvisio can not get it through. Play there. Now they're just getting a little sloppy. Law Meadow is keeping it at East Law Meadow's end. Finally cleared. Ooh, that one, that one might hit us. <laughs> Phillips with the nice clearance there. It's another throw in for Law Meadow. Again, pass Gustavo, and he stays with it. Great play. Still in. Whiff there. <laughs> Gustavo, great defense. East Long Meadow just can't seem to get the ball past Long Meadow at this point. I think that's a sign of fatigue. Because now they can spread out with the East Long Meadow throw. Nick DePonte is going to come in for Will St. Marie. It's a little push there, and it's a free kick. Nicholas Demarest waiting to come in. Madeira trying to get a ball in. Good ball. Great kick. Oof. It's a collision there, but Lamelo still have it. Matt Pellegrino, nice play there. To Wesley Olin. Just couldn't get there. Loose, Lamedo, get a great through ball. Here they go. He's got an open left wing there. Reed Phillips, right there, still in. And trying to get a shot. Brendan Zura right there. He's trying to get. Trying to slow it down, run the clock a little. He's trying to get his second shutout of the season. Under a minute and a half left in this game. East Long Meadow up 3-0. Nicholas Dimerst will come in. For Gustavo Palacios. 
I don't remember Gustavo ever coming out of the game. That shows how much hard work he's been doing. Well, Meadow, keep this in here. Trying to get it. Oh, he goes through. Tough one. Z Brennan Great Zura. Save. To lose, gets it back into the box. Nicholas Demers right there. No, I think it's Matt Pellegrino. Good ball. Lamelo just keeping it in East Lamelo's end right now. Trying to get a goal with 15 seconds left. Reed Phillips said, nope, I want a shutout. <laughs> Wants that goose egg on that board. Six seconds left. And this game is over as Esau Meadow with another shutout. And they pull out the win 3 nothing. And what do you think of this game? I mean, it definitely was not easy. If you were looking without checking up on the score, it could have been a 0-0 game all night long. But Matt Mooney and the incredible offense of East Long Meadow Spartans just able to prevail, literally throwing their bodies into this game in order to win. Well, on behalf of Elcat Sports, um, we have our pizza shop uh, offensive player of the game. Uh, yeah, our pizza shop offensive player of the game is definitely Matt Mooney. Coming in with two goals tonight, but also creating opportunities for all of the offense of the East Long Middle Spartans today. Just crossing it, passing it, showing tremendous hustle all game long. And we have a Let's, a let's Yo defensive player of the game. Uh, yeah, Let's Yo defensive player of the game is Reed Phillips acting in the back as, like I said earlier, human wall. Just blocking every ball that goes by, pretty much acting as his own goalkeeper. And what do you think is our overall play of the game? Uh, as entertaining as Chris Casilla's body goal was, I'd have to say it was Matt Mooney's second goal with his head that crossover, and then he got the right angle on that head ball and just popped it right in. Nobody saw it coming. DePonte, what a ball! What a finish! Matt Mooney again! Well, the person doing the camera is Maria Boucher. My color commentator is Jamie Rook. And I'm Neil Gagnon. We'll see you next time.